In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Hello again, everybody, and welcome today to our Mass for Wednesday of Holy Week. And so, my brothers and sisters, in order to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading today is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, Therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who holds my, up my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Response is, Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. The insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See you, lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. <clears throat> hail, to you, o, hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our heirs. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve who was, <clears throat> who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priests and said, what are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, <coughs> Go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered, and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. 
And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas his betrayer said and replied, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. <coughs> Our Gospel today <coughs> really is uh, kind of filled with suspense, right? And sets up uh, the climactic events of the next three days. Um, and we have here, um, <coughs> at the beginning, right, Judas going to the priests and the chief priests and asking them, you know, what they would give him if he were to hand over Jesus and said 30 pieces of silver. And again, that uh, has echoes back in the Old Testament as well. And then <coughs> the disciples, they go to Jesus, ask him, you know, where do you want us to prepare for you to uh, eat the Passover? Little did they know the importance um, at the time of that Passover. And then they are at the table. This is really um, an, <clears throat> an opportunity, a really good opportunity, I think, to, excuse me, to do uh, what Ignatius, St. Ignatius tells us to do with stories in Scripture and to read this story through several times and to imagine ourselves in this story and pick one of the disciples and imagine uh, that we are one of them. What would we, <clears throat> if we were one of the disciples, what would we uh, be thinking and feeling in this story? And particularly, what would we be thinking and feeling when Jesus says, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. And then, <clears throat> it's interesting that all of them uh, think, well, surely it is not I, Lord. They're not looking at others to think that somebody else might do it. They think, well, I am not the one that would do that, would, am I? Uh, they, they are asking him. And so why do they <clears throat> think like this? What is their concern? Why do they feel like they might be the one who is uh, to betray Jesus, as Jesus indicates that somebody will betray him? So maybe it'd be <clears throat> a good point of prayer today, right before uh, the Triduum, right in the middle of Holy Week, to read this story through a couple of times and to imagine uh, ourselves in this story what would we uh, think? How would we respond? And more importantly, perhaps, how would we want to respond to Jesus when he says this? So let us now offer our prayers and petitions to God. <coughs> uh, we pray for the Church, for Pope Francis and Cardinal Supich and all bishops, priests, and deacons. For them and their intentions, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are ill in any way, for them in their healing, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died, for the repose of their souls and the consolation of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> and we pray for the intentions of those watching this Mass, which we offer in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. And good and gracious God, we ask you to hear our prayers and to grant them according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, <clears throat> pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, 
and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effect. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>